So in this video, I'm just gonna go through just four VPNs that I personally trust to actually do the job properly. These aren't free VPNs, these are proper paid services that actually do the job very well indeed and really are trustworthy. So let's go through these four very good VPNs. The first one is ExpressVPN and this one is pretty well known, definitely does a lot of advertising online. And I think I pay maybe about $100 a year for the service. So definitely not cheap, definitely not free, but this thing works and works very well. You can set up recurring payments on whatever payment method that you want, credit card, PayPal, even Bitcoin. Actually, most of these services do accept Bitcoin or pretty much absolutely any payment method whatsoever. The app is very clean, very simple, very easy to use. When you download it, you can put it on your phone, on your iPad, on your uh, Windows PC, Mac computer, pretty much anything. You can use up to five simultaneous connections so you can have it on your phone and your computer at the same time. It's literally just a button that you press. You can see it connecting. When it's connected, it goes green and then you're good to go. If there is a problem with the connection, it will also have this uh, sort of grayed out bar where you can see, oh, it's not connected, it's trying to reconnect. One thing I would say is that there are no boxes where you can actually see the amount of data going through the connection. So in some of the other services, you have a box and you can see megabits per second actually what is being transferred. With ExpressVPN, you can't really see that. It's very simple. It just says it's either on or off and you can't see how quick the connection is which is a little bit annoying sometimes, especially if you're transferring uh, big amounts of data, you can't really see how fast it is, or maybe if you wanna to switch to another location, another server, you don't really know how fast that one is either. It does have a speed test, so you can actually check the speed of each connection before you connect. Once you're connected though, you can't see any of the rate that the data is being transferred. Astral VPN is the next one, and this is trusted by a lot of people in, should I say, regions where you absolutely need a VPN if you wanna access the internet. The design of this app is absolutely terrible. It looks like it was designed in 1999 and hasn't got any updates. However, the actual service, the connection, is, I think, one of the best. Astral has some really strong servers, especially in the States. So if you're in maybe Asia and your internet is blocked, you can access a lot of stuff in the States and those servers are really, really strong. You can use it across devices at the same time as well. This one also on PC anyway, has that data transfer rate. So you can see exactly how quick your connection is, if it's going up or down, and then you can switch connections and see. So it's just really easy if you're uploading a big file and it's taking a while, you can just see actually the rate at which the speed is and then maybe switch to some other ones if it's too slow. Contacting customer service also is just really clunky. I think you have to send them an email. There's no real chat boxes or anything, unlike ExpressVPN where you can just log on to the website or even on your phone and within like 30 seconds there's a chat box and you can just chat to someone instantly. NordVPN is the next one and this one is much like ExpressVPN for me. Very modern, very good design for all of the apps. Customer service is really good within not even a minute, you can speak to customer service and just get everything sorted. They have over 5,000 servers in 62 countries. So definitely a lot of choice, all the main places. And they have multiple servers in the big countries like the States, even Hong Kong, Singapore, and Japan, which a lot of these places have servers in. Really with this one, the connections are good. There's a lot of servers. The customer service is pretty good. The app layout is good and you can use it on different devices. I would say this one and ExpressVPN really are almost the same. So I guess it just comes down to maybe which one is offering you the best deal at the time. Also, you can maybe have a free trial of both of them and see which ones actually gives you personally the better connection. I'll leave maybe some links below and you can just check them out to see which one is offering the best deal right now. But there is one more on the list before that and that is Surfshark and these guys are advertising a lot as well and they're definitely trying to get their name out there. This one isn't as big of a company maybe I would say as the other ones. It doesn't have as many servers. It just has a thousand servers but it is in over 50 locations. And yeah, to be honest, it's not really about the amount of servers. If you're using a VPN, you maybe just wanna use maybe two or three different servers in those main countries that you wanna maybe access content in. So 
yeah, maybe not as big as the rest, but I don't think you maybe need 5,000 different servers. I think 99% of those you're not gonna use anyway. What is quite good about this one though is that it offers unlimited device support. So if you have one account, you can actually use it on pretty much 100 different computers. Maybe if you have a small business or something, or you just have a lot of family members that wanna use it, might be quite good for you. Surfshark also has a couple of different options as well that I didn't really see in the other ones. I'm not saying they don't do it, but on Surfshark it's actually tiered. So you can use something called camouflage mode, which will actually hide the fact that you're using a VPN from your ISP. So yeah, if switching that on and off is important for you, then maybe Surfshark is for you. But yeah, what I would say with all of these uh, services, especially these VPNs, is that if you're in a country where the internet is not blocked anyway, and you're just looking to maybe access some Netflix content or something else from a different country, then all of these are gonna be really fine. It probably will come down to which one of them offers you the best deal for the amount of time that you wanna go for, to be honest. But yeah, I would really not recommend going with free VPNs, free services, because nothing is free and they usually eat your data and they're gonna maybe track you or sell your data to someone which is kind of the point of having a vpn so i would steer clear of the free ones and even though these ones do seem a little bit expensive over time they do some really good deals if you buy like a year or two years you can get some massive massive discounts and maybe on a weekly basis, it wouldn't be really that much. So yeah, I will leave some links below just so you can check out the deals because they're always running deals as well on these ones. But these four definitely recommended paid VPNs for me. That's it for this one though. Sub if you liked it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.